we're gonna talk about switching from iOS to Android and vice versa. See, there are a lot of people out there who are locked into their respective mobile OSs. Others just don't wanna switch. And there are even more people who think the process of switching over is a hassle. So let's talk about a few ways to make the switch easier. But before I get too deep into the video, as usual, if I can make you chuckle before the end of this video, if you learn something new, if you like how I'm rocking, or if you just like my vibe, then go ahead, like, and subscribe. And while you're at it, hit that bell icon too to turn those notifications. That way, ding, you know when I upload something new. And back to it. Before my current job, I used to work in retail. You can usually find me at a cell phone store being a nerd and talking to customers and talking their head off, go figure. Uh, but one thing I always noticed was that many customers didn't want to put up with the hassle of switching phones. In fact, most times when I told them we can do everything wirelessly and that I can get everything, they were amazed. And here goes one thing that iPhone users hated, and that's being a green bubble. I have a solution for that. It's called the Beeper app. And I talked about this in a previous video, which you can go watch to get up to speed. But this app allows you to send and receive iMessages on your Android phone of choice. Now, it does cost $10 a month, and there's a waiting list of people waiting to get access to it. Those are two downsides. But this really is the best way to get iMessages on your Android phone currently. But the default message app from Google is actually getting better. In fact, you can get iMessage reactions in the Google Messages app now, so that's a positive. Take the sting away a little bit. <sighs> so, let's get this straight. Photos are super important to a lot of people. It's just a fact. The easiest way to move your photos from iOS to Android is by using an app which is available on both. That app for me is Google Photos. Now this seems like a simple solution, but the amount of people I've helped during my retail days who didn't know about Google Photos was staggering. This is especially geared toward iOS users who are considering switching. iCloud storage is nice, but it isn't easily available on Android. Because of that, getting photos moved over is even tougher. But by using Google Photos or something similar, you keep your photos stored in the cloud, and this makes them easier to access and keeps your phone from getting full too quickly. Now, for those who like to share locations, there was a woman at Verizon who went from a Z Flip 3 to an iPhone, but she was hesitant because she, she couldn't keep up with her man's location. The reason why she wants that location is not up to me, but this is a real worry. We fear not because Google Maps allows you to keep up with your loved ones, whether they are on iOS or Android. You can show your location temporarily or permanently. And personally, my family likes to share each other's locations just in case something happens to one of us. We want to be safe. And since I'm the one who usually switches between iOS and Android, I had to find a solution, and Google Maps is that solution. And let's make this even easier. There are software solutions from Apple, Samsung, and Google, and these apps will transfer over contacts, messages, and even apps which are cross-platform. No longer do you have to sit there and watch representatives hook your phone up to a machine and wait forever for them to transfer over. Now the rep can download the Move to iOS app from the Google Play Store. This app, as the name says, helps you move from Android to iOS. When you switch from iOS to Android, there's the switch to Android from Google. Look at the name again. In addition, there is the Samsung Smart Switch, which I think is the best implementation of going from iOS to Android or Android to iOS or Android to Android. Uh, to me, I think it's the best. That's just my two cents. So it's not bad switching from iOS to Android at all. There are ways to keep your most prized photos. There's a way to keep your contacts and messages. You can even get iMessages on your Android phone after switching over kind of with a special app. But the main point is that you can now switch from iOS to Android and it's easier than it ever has been to keep your information. So don't fear guys, it's definitely okay. But that brings us to the end of this video. And I'm gonna repeat it again. If I made you chuckle before the end of this video, if you learned something new, if you like how I'm rocking, or if you just like my vibe, then go ahead, like, and subscribe. And while you edit, it, hit that bell icon too to turn off notifications. That way, ding, you know when to upload something new. And please leave comments down below. That way I can improve and make better content for you guys. Other than that, this has been Norman Consumer. I'll see you guys in the next one.